Hi guys, welcome to AKA Our 80s Life where we're all about the 80s and our favorite 80s show is Dallas. Today we're going to show you the filming locations for season 6. We opened season 6 at Presbyterian Hospital. Cliff Barnes is here because he tried to commit suicide due to Sue Ellen's marriage proposal rejection. Poor Cliff. You guys might remember, we filmed this location, Ozona's, in season two. But back then, it was called Cardinal Puffs. There's a restaurant to Cardinal Puffs on Greenville. Well, we're gonna see it again in this season. Two different scenes. One's on the patio, and one's indoors. Ozona's a great restaurant. If you're ever in the Dallas area, be sure and stop by. In episode three, we meet Holly Harwood when JR comes to meet her out on her yacht. She does a lot of business on her yacht when she's not poolside at her mansion. And that scene was filmed here at Chandler's Landing on Lake Ray Hubbard. Okay, you guys, we are approaching Holly Harwood's house. It's right behind this gate right here. You're gonna have to take my word for it because it sets a little far back from the street and it's hard to see. There's the circle drive in the front. Remember when Sue Ellen pulls up and she, it's at night, and JR's there and Holly has set him up and Sue Ellen comes in and she sees them together. That is such a dramatic scene. And it happened right here. The Doubletree Hotel at Campbell Center is used a lot throughout season six. They have many meals at the restaurant on the 21st floor, and JR double crosses some people there. JR had a really nasty double cross here with John Baxter when he set him up with Serena. And then JR was able to blackmail him so he could see Jock's will before it was read. So I guess the double tree is where JR goes to double cross people. That's right. Don't have lunch with JR here at this restaurant. Don't ever do it. Okay, you guys, we asked if we could see where the restaurant used to be in the double tree, and they're, they're gonna let us see it. It's a ballroom now, the Skyline Ballroom. Okay, so this used to be the restaurant. It's featured all through the show. You guys have seen this, you'll recognize it. You see that commanding view of Dallas with the gold towers. ballroom because so many scenes from Dallas happened there we really wanted to see it we actually thought it might still be a restaurant we were all prepared to eat lunch there but it's not but we got to see it anyways and that was really cool 
This is Campbell Center, where Cliff scores a sweet office when he becomes president of Barnes Wentworth Oil. I guess things are looking up for Cliff, at least for a little while. Welcome to Emporia, Kansas. Just kidding, we're in Wiley, Texas. In episode four, Aunt Lil calls Ray to let him know that Amos Krebs has died and ask him to return home to Emporia, Kansas. We all know that Amos Krebs isn't Ray's real dad. It's, it's really Jock. Yeah, so Ray and Donna travel here to Emporia, Emporia. <laughs> for the funeral. Fun fact, we are actually from Kansas, not too far from Emporia. What, about a 45 minute drive? And we had to drive six hours to this Emporia. Right. This is Aunt Lily's house, but it's actually the Thomas and Maddie Brown house. It's a historic home built in 1905. You will notice that the house has gone through some structural changes since it was Aunt Lil's house. They got this nice little cupola that they've added, probably to return it back to the, the original house that it would have been in 1905. It's actually a beautiful Victorian home and it's owned by the Chamber of Commerce and it's actually now a historic home, so no one's living there. They also use the interiors of the house for filming as well. Here on the patio right behind me is where Aunt Lil and Ray and Donna had some good conversation. This is also where we meet the character of Mickey for the first time. This is Aunt Lil's son. He pulls up into the driveway on his motorcycle and then Ray has an encounter with him later out in the yard because he's not doing a good job of taking care of the yard or about anything else. He's kind of rebellious and Ray puts him in his place. It truly is a beautiful home. It is. And look across the street. Does anybody recognize this gas station? We're going there next. at the corner of Ballard and Jefferson in Emporia, Kansas. <laughs> well, not really Emporia, but here in Wiley at this Shamrock is where Mickey works. And this is where Ray and Donna stop to get some gas. And then who other than Mickey comes out to fill their gas tank? It looks like in the show that it's across town, but in actuality, right across the street, in Lil's house. the house where Mickey lives. The funeral scene for Amos Krebs was filmed at the historic Wiley Cemetery. We are at the burial site of Amos Krebs. And the way we could tell we had the right place for certain distinguishing landmarks. One, you can see this leaning headstone behind us that's leaning to the left. Also, there's a Corbett headstone here that you can see in the background in the shot with Ray and the family. And then finally over there, there was an angel. Unfortunately, that angel now is missing its head. And right here in this area is where we see Ray Krebs visit his mom's grave. It's a very moving scene, performed really well by Steve Canale, and it happened right here. The 
This is the Marriott Quorum Hotel where the U.S. attended the Oil Baron's Ball. And that's when they had their really sweet tribute to Jock Ewing. It's pretty much the closest thing they had to a funeral. Miss Ellie delivers a really sweet speech and then they establish a scholarship in his honor. So we're gonna go in and see if we can find the actual ballroom where they filmed. Here we go. Airport in episode five. This is when Bobby and Miss Ellie go to pick up Gary from the airport. He's just flown in from California to hear the reading of Jock's will. The pool behind us might look familiar because they used it in season four for JR's therapy pool after he got shot. If you haven't seen our season four video, be sure and go back and watch that. But in this episode, episode six, it's used again for Bobby to meet with the Canadian oil men. Such a bizarre place to have a business meeting in full suits with bikini clad ladies hanging out behind them. That was weird. Highland Park Village Shopping Center it's considered America's first shopping center built in 1931 and it's also one of the most beautiful areas of Dallas. But in this shopping center is where JR pulls a bit of a scheme. We're gonna show you where he does that right now. In episode seven, the dastardly JR sets up Ms. Carol Driscoll. JR finds out that Carol's a terrible driver. So what does he do? He hires a couple guys to, you know, just take one for the team and get hit by her car and then make it look like a hit and run. So Carol backs out of this parking space down there and she drives down the road. <laughs> These guys come walking across and So these parking spaces are really tight yeah. and there's a lot of traffic in here. So let's see if Abby pulls a Carol Driscoll well, trying no. to get out of the parking lot. I hope not. Okay, I think I, I, think I got it. Whew. Did not hit any pedestrians. Now we're at the Southern Cross Ranch. This is where Sue Ellen goes to visit Clayton when she's trying to figure out what to do about JR. We featured the Southern Cross Ranch in our season five video, so be sure and watch that if you haven't already. We're in Old Town Shopping Center. This is where they filmed the scene where Sue Ellen and Pamela went shopping for Sue Ellen's wedding dress. The shopping center also had Mariano's restaurant where they filmed a lot of interior scenes. They drank margaritas. You can get a whole pitcher of margaritas for three bucks. <laughs> in fact, Mariano's invented the frozen margarita machine. Now the sad thing is, is that the buildings that had the Ivy House and Mariano's have been torn down. Now, unfortunately, it's a PetSmart and a Michaels. Yeah, we tried to find it for you guys. That part is totally gone, but you can tell it's the same shopping center. There's a lot of similar features. Like you see the these columns. posts right here, the columns are the same as the ones that you see in that shot. It's just a little bit different area. Darn. In episode nine, JR is at Prestonwood Country Club where he's doing some wheeling and dealing with John Macklin. Yeah, so behind us is the country club and the golf course, and that's where JR is playing with John on the golf course. And then we see later in the episode, Bobby comes to meet with John also, but they meet at the poolside. Well, it was a lot better weather on that day, and it's kind of drizzling here on us today. But you can see here is the pool, and we see the pool behind the shot of Bobby meeting with John, and then we see the golf course behind him. So they must have been sitting in one of those tables right over there. In season six, Renaissance Tower continues to be the office of Ewing Oil. Things are really heating up between JR and Bobby as they battle for control of the company. We're at the corner of Park and Bodecker, and you would never guess, but this is where JR Ewing's gas station was 
in episode 12. It used to be a Texaco gas station, but now it's just a parking lot. And the way we can tell we're in the right place, the distinguishing landmark, is that church directly behind us. And I defy anybody, politician or not, in Austin or Washington, to try and stop it. Thank you.